Hi, in this video we are going to discuss about productivity of ecosystem. This is one of the important topic in the syllabus of UPSC exam. So sunlight is the main source of energy for all living organism. Energy flow is one of the functional feature of ecosystem by which energy is transferred into biotic component. Sunlight is first utilized by plants or producers for photosynthesis. During photosynthesis, these producers capture carbon dioxide from atmosphere and convert it into carbohydrates. So carbohydrates are the stored organic matter in the body of plants. We know that first law of thermodynamics is applicable in ecosystem. So energy is neither created in ecosystem nor it is destroyed. It is simply converted from one form of energy into another. That means solar energy of sun is converted into biochemical form of energy that means carbohydrate in the body of plants. So carbohydrates are stored in plants and this stored organic matter is known as primary productivity. So primary productivity is the rate at which radiant energy gets converted into organic matter by producers. To be more specific, the total organic matter stored in plants can also be called as gross primary productivity or GPP. Out of this gross primary productivity, a portion of energy is lost to the environment or may be used in respiration by plants. So, the net primary productivity is the actual primary productivity or we can say it is the total stored organic matter in plants after removing the respiratory loss. So it's equal to GPP minus respiratory loss. From producer energy that is approximately 10% is transferred into the body of herbivores. In herbivore some amount of this energy will be stored in their body and a portion of energy will be lost to the environment or used in respiratory or any other metabolic process. From herbivore 10% of energy is further transferred into carnivore. Carnivore will also utilize energy which is available to them. Some amount of energy will be stored in their body and a portion of it will be lost to the environment or used in respiration. So the total amount of stored energy at the level of herbivore or carnivore is known as secondary productivity. So the difference between primary and secondary productivity is that primary productivity is the total organic matter stored at the level of producers that means plants. On the other hand secondary productivity is the amount of organic matter stored at the level of consumers that means herbivore or carnivore. Primary productivity that means the stored organic matter in the body of plants depends on number of factors. For example, it depends on solar radiation, availability of water, nutrients, types of plants, chlorophyll content, etc. So if we compare different ecosystems, for example, desert, forest, grassland or ashery, we generally find that deserts have comparatively low primary productivity. And the reason is that the number of plants and diversity of plants in desert and tundra is extremely low. So while deserts have uh, cactus and other kind of thorny plants, on the other hand, tundra ecosystem has extremely cold climatic condition and therefore only alpine grass can survive in such harsh cold conditions. So the productivity is extremely low. As we move from desert to forest or asheries, productivity increases. Highest productivity is observed for wet tropical forest and asheries. Wet tropical forest or asheries have highest primary productivity and the reason is the number of trees is very high in tropical forest. Same way, asheries also have very high primary productivity and the reason is asheries are the places where fresh water of river meets ocean water. So asheries are the places where there is lot of nutrient mixing. As a result of this, coastal vegetation is also very dense and thick. Lot of chlorophyll is found in coastal trees. Thereby, primary productivity varies from ecosystem to ecosystem and depends on various parameters like chlorophyll, types of trees, conditions available in that area, etc. Now let's try to solve question which was asked in UPSC prelim 2013. 
Question is which of the following is correct sequence of ecosystems in order of their decreasing productivity? By productivity, we know that productivity is the stored organic matter in plants. So, out of the options given to us, ocean, lake, grassland, mangrove, we can easily make out that oceans and lake will have minimum primary productivity because they have relatively less number of plants. So, we have to keep it at the last. So, the only option where we find ocean and lake at the last is C. Further, we can confirm this option by taking into account mangroves. So, mangroves are the forest which are very dense and thick. So the canopy is very dense, the leaves are broadleaf generally and they store lot of chlorophyll content. So this chlorophyll content means that mangrove forests have lot of photosynthetic activity and thereby productivity is highest. Comparatively less primary productivity is observed in grassland. So the correct option for this question is mangrove, grassland, lake and ocean. Let's try to solve another question. In the context of ecosystem productivity, marine upwelling zones are important as they increase marine productivity by bringing the decomposer, nutrient, bottom dwelling organism, etc. Now remember, the question is asking about marine productivity. Now productivity depends on many factors like nutrient, water availability, chlorophyll, etc. But it is not dependent on decomposers or any other organism. So, we can easily make out that nutrient is the correct option. Moreover, we also know that upwelling in marine ecosystem is a process by which the deep, cold or nutrient rich water is transferred towards the surface of water. So more is more the availability of nutrients on the surface, more will be the productivity because algae and other plants which are present on the surface will utilize sunlight and they will use the nutrients to undergo photosynthesis. So, in this case, the correct option is 2 only. That means only nutrients will enhance marine productivity. Now, let's try to solve another question. Question is, consider the following statements regarding the effect of ozone depletion. First, the productivity of phytoplankton increases because they get more sunlight after ozone depletion. Second, ozone depletion can result in skin cancer and eye damage. Third, ozone depletion has no impact on biogeochemical cycle like carbon cycle. So we know that ozone depletion is a phenomena by which chlorofluorocarbon and other compounds tend to deplete ozone which is present in stratosphere. So due to the depletion of stratospheric ozone, ultraviolet radiations can easily penetrate on the surface of earth. As a result of this, humans may develop skin cancer and eye damage. So second option is correct. Now what about phytoplanktons? So phytoplanktons are small free floating plants present on the surface of water. These phytoplanktons are worst affected due to UV exposure. As a result of this, the productivity decreases for them. So the productivity of phytoplankton increases because they get more sunlight after ozone depletion is not a correct statement. In fact, productivity of phytoplankton decreases due to UV exposure. Third option is ozone depletion has no impact on biogeochemical cycle like carbon cycle. So we know a portion of carbon cycle also operate in aquatic ecosystem. So in aquatic ecosystem, if phytoplanktons are getting affected because of exposure to UV light, then we can also expect the next trophic level that means zooplankton, fish or top predators will not be able to get their amount of carbon. And as a result of this, carbon cycle will also be affected. So, the correct option here is second only. With this, we have completed productivity of ecosystem. Keep watching Deha Green Planet for more information on environment. Thank you.